Art Basel, Miami. I'm working on two hours sleep. I'm working on two hours sleep. This is the re 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 cat. Damn, was this a goodie? Shout out to Timberland. Shout out to Swiss Beats. Man, this versus this number one app in the world. It ain't a recap. If Fat Joe ain't doing it, period. Shout out Spiff. Percy. Damn, boy. Y'all listen, man. This the recap. Shout out Soraka, Much Finer Vodka. Wild Cherry Pepsi. You know what that is. And listen, man. We gonna run it up today. Let me tell you. You ready? Let's go. Now. Shout out to Steve Lobel, the hardest working manager in the business. In the business. Now listen, I go out to LA. On the flight there, I'm on that JetBlue Mint. DJ Scratch is sitting right next to me. Well, right behind me, they got like the beds. And we talking back and forth. And he's telling me he's doing, and, and you know, we salute each other. Jason Flom, what's up? I get to LA. My girl Jen from Rolls Royce, she got the Rolls Royce waiting for me with the stars on the roof. It's throwback Thursday. I gave him a couple of 88 picks, 191. Fly to death ever since I was a baby. But now I got to go to the verses. So, you know, I always go to L.A. and I take the pick. Where the tall trees, where Nipsey hustle at, the horse, with Lauren London. I like that block. So over there in Beverly Hills, I pull up the, the Rolls Royce. And I go out there and I take a couple of pics. Mind you. Mind you, I'm in that green. You can't find that, that green stone island bubble. The ice was so electrifying. You seen that ice? Now, I'm going to tell you about that ice, too. You seen that ice? You seen them pants? It was giving me Missy Elliott vibes. I can't stop the rain. You know what I'm saying? It's like, they look like Missy, like the video joint. Me and Superfly. Me and Superfly. And so, I'm in that Louis Vuitton print, Missy Elliott, and down at the bottom. That's Bottega. At the bottom, the, 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 the boots, you might have laughed at, is Bottega. Now, I know some of you guys make fun of me because I be on my fly shit. You say, Joe, you old. We want you in a 10X hoodie. We want you in some bell-bottom jeans. Nah, we got to move with the times, baby. And so we ready. Rich player, he got that Louis Vuitton. And so we go over to the venue. When we pull up, I notice this is different. This is different. And so before that, I'm walking around. Pretty much LA is for Bone Thugs and Harmony because Easy E discovered them. It's a major key. Easy e discovered Bone Thugs and Harmony. So Bone got that alliance with LA. So they actually got home court advantage. I pull up. The atmosphere is electrified. It's sold out. Top to bottom, front to back, sold out. So, you know, I'm going over there to give you that, that recap and let you know what it really is. See, I'm not just going to watch on the phone, phone and give you that Monday morning quarterback. Right? Now, I see some people say, what the fuck is Fat Joe doing 
and a Bone Thugs 3 6 Mafia versus. First of all, it's a celebration of music. We got to get over the fact. Now, me and Ja Rule, we made fun of each other all on stage. But we was WWEing this. If it wasn't my brother Ja Rule, I told you I couldn't do it with nobody. Why, Joe? Because I'm a sore loser. I'm an even worse winner. Hence, we'll get to Busy Bone. This is what I was afraid of for Fat Joe himself. I'm a sore loser and even worse winner. What do Joe know about 3-6 Mafia and Bone Thugs and Harmony? And 8-Ball MJG? And Gangsta Boo? And Crunchy? Crunchy Black? And Paul and Juicy J? Well, listen. Fat Joe was signed to Relativity Records in Flojo. Do you know who else was signed to my record label? Bone Thugs and Harmony. Do you know who else was on my record label? 3-6 Mafia. Do you know who else was on the label? 8-Ball MJG. Common, the Beat Nuts, Chi Ali. Just to name a few, but this was my crew. I've been to Memphis with 3-6 Mafia. In fact, my song, Make It Rain, was created in Memphis. You can't tell me shit about this, man. And so what's fucked up is when you come from New York with no disrespect, a lot of my guys from New York who love New York hip-hop, they're stuck on K-Slate. They just want to listen to K-Slate. And they don't open their minds, no disrespect to K-Slate because I love what you do, no opening their minds to the rest of the world, Midwest, South. Now, Bone Thugs in Harmony in the music game, it's fair to say they're my big homies. I was signed to the record label. I was selling two records. These guys sold 50 million records, 5-0 albums. When you had to go to the store and buy the albums. Not this is on your phone. A lot of guys, we salute them. They sell a million singles. This is 50 million albums. Busy Bone at his prime was Michael Jackson. It is what it is. And everything I tell you, I have receipts. I never lie. I'm tired of explaining this to you. So I know about Cleveland. East 1999. The east side of Cleveland. Cleveland only had a gyro spot that was open late. The only restaurant in the world, if you're from Cleveland, is a gyro spot. I know. One day I'm there with uh, Lazy Bone and I'm like, yo, what's in West Cleveland? Because we here all the time. He said, that's where the Puerto Ricans at. I said, Steve, you know I'm Puerto Rican. No, I didn't know. And so we went to West Cleveland and all the Puerto Ricans came out like the Pied Piper was there. And Lazy interview, uh, introduced me to his man, Pee Wee. He was like, Pee Wee. Now we get to the battle, the versus celebration. Everybody's in great spirits. I seen Bone, I seen 3-6, and oh my God, did I see Amber Rose. Whoa! Holy shit! Amber Rose was in the building. Looking like, whoa, holy shit.
Listen, ladies and gentlemen, especially my boom bap hip hoppers. This versus was hip hop at its finest. And I know you guys say, yo, Joe, you bugging. Bone thugs, three, six, nine, fuck that. I know what I saw. I saw a wall of wall ram pack from the top to the bottom. I seen 300 motherfuckers on stage that wouldn't move. I even saw a fight on stage. We'll get to that. You cannot get more hip hop than this. You just can't. So I get in there. I go upstairs. They got upstairs. They got a VIP section for me. Shout out Melissa, Bobby. I got a nice view. They come up and they say, listen, Bone Thugs and 3-6 won't go on because nobody wants to go. They both want to go last. Remember that. They both want to go last. So they don't want to get on stage. And they told us to find you, Fat Joe. Because they want you to do a, to a coin toss. And you're the only guy they'll trust. I'm like, what? I'm sitting upstairs. Mind you, Omarion is in... The building. Oh, it's in there. It's in there. You got 3,000, 4,000 motherfuckers in there smoking blunt, screaming, no mask on. The theory, the yalla was in the yonder. It's safe to say, right? The new, uh, what, what, what's that? The new variants? The Yala was in the building. I'm going to give it to you. Do you want the real recap of the fake shit? What you want? The Omarion was in the building. The fucking Jam Jamiroquai. What's my man? The Jamiroquai was in the building. Scared the fuck out of me and I'm all boosted up. I'm on four. It's called Omicron. It's called Omicron. 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 Omicron is in the building, a.k.a. The Omicron. Omarion. Omarion, okay. And the motherfucker was dead. I'm telling you. Motherfucker went like this. Came right at me. Made a U-turn. I'm boosted up like a motherfucker. I'm over boosted. This was unlike any other verses. And I get it. They get on stage. They start talking shit to each other. So I go up there to do the coin toss. I come out. Bone thugs say, Tails. I throw the shit in the air. I thought I wasn't going to catch it. I caught the bitch. It was Tails. So they get to go last. They fought and they went and found Fat Joe up a deck so that somebody go last. This got a lot. This plays out. Remember, this coin toss plays out towards the end. I'm going to explain why and break it down to you. So 3-6 Mafia go on and who run it? Who run it? Who run it? They came out swinging. Now you got to understand. Bone thugs ain't for play. So they come out doing them shits. Pop, 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 pop. So I'm in the crowd. The crowd is half 3-6 Mafia, half Bone thugs. The fucking crowd is going insane. There was never another versus like this with crowd participation. Don't want nobody to get mad at me about the dip set locks. And believe it or not, 
I had friends from out of town who told me I didn't know most of those records those guys was doing. So it's the same shit if you from New York and you're like, yo, but I don't, yo, bro. We caught our shine. New York got a legendary versus. They went to LA and put on a legendary versus. It was not my play. Boom, 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 boom. Going back, 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 back. The crowd is insane. I'm going, I'm going crazy for all that shit. Crunchy Black, he doing the motherfucking dance. Gangsta Boom. I had a thing for Gangsta Boom back in the day. I had a thing for Gangsta Boom because she was tough. She gangsta. I was like, maybe. And so everybody been friends forever, but they go at it. Now, here's where the problem starts. They're going blow for blow. To me, it's a tie. Looking at the crowd and everything, this thing's a tie. Busy Bone, mind you, Busy Bone at the time when these guys were popping was the Michael Jackson. I literally would watch him leave a concert with 100 cars of females following his tour bus to the hotel. I seen it with my own eyes. One of the greatest rappers, lyricists of all time. And so Busy goes, he says, Busy fucked up. So the day before I called Steve Lobel and the guys, I say, is Busy here? He's here. Now when Busy Bone is here, this is a problem. Little did I know, 3-6 Mafia was going to bring out the whole fucking kitchen sink. I mean, they spared none. And people complain for me. I produce big puns, still not a player. I'm an executive producer. Oh, Joe, why you play that? This is, man, there was so many motherfuckers rapping on that stage. It was like bone going against the whole fucking world. I mean, the world. Even Terrence Howard came in that motherfucker. You was not there. You was not there. If you wasn't in the motherfucker, that's why you watching the recap. I'm telling you, the crowd was going insane. Loudest crowd of any verses. Having the best time of their fucking life. Any mother, ever since I could remember, I've been popping my collar. Popping my collar. Popping ever since I came up. Move that body from side to side, side to side. And these mofa, he's 1999999999. Now, Busy Bone, who no one thought would be there, he came looking beautiful, in great spirits. Before the shit started, he was in his trailer, he wasn't bothering nobody. It was like motherfucking. He was doing yoga, some shit, meditation. Big thing, celebration of career. He goes on there and he says, hey man, you know what? Why you motherfuckers, I'm performing. You over there acting like you dissing my shit. You make, but that's verses. I don't know if Busy Bone ever seen verses. We're competing, but it's all fun. Busy turn around. I don't appreciate y'all motherfuckers mocking my shit. He was wrong, but I'm from the projects. Where men and women can talk shit till six in the morning. Call a, 
each other's mother's lesbians. Fuck you, you a bum, your father's a cracker. No problem. The minute the words come out, suck my dick. It's violence. Don't care if you best friends. Don't care if you get along. Don't care if you want to... At the minute SMD comes out, it's over. It's violence. Now, do you want the fake shit or you want the real recap? Fire signs. Fire signs if you enjoy the recap. Versus Triller, the number one app in the world. Mr. Sean King, this might be too violent for you, Mr. Sean King. Community activist. Erica Ford, community activist. This might be too violent of talk for you. You might not be ready for this type of shit. I see my brother Pat Poots. I see Jay once. I see Corey. This ain't no regular recap. This ain't what these people do. They ain't walk this shit. They don't know Gangsta Boo. They don't know Paul. They don't know Wishbone. They don't know Flesh. They don't know Ken Dawn. They, they don't know Felicia. They don't know the Mo Dogs. Fuck you mean I'm not qualified for this shit. You don't know who I know. You don't know who I know. And so the elements is there. Fuck it, the gangs is in there. A lot of blue, a lot of red. The Mexicans. Omarion is in the building. And so, he says, suck my dick, busy bone throws the shit. It erupts. And fucking my man, my man Paul, he go to work. Lazy boning, throwing them. And these guys love each other, but they're not pussy. Does this make sense? But they're not pussy. You separate the shit. I'm upstairs up a deck. I'm where the bosses are. I get up and I get ready to walk down to the stage to try to squash this because they, they're all my brothers. Yo, you gotta close that door, brother. I get over there to squash it. I wanna go squash it, but my crew said, mind your business. Kanokin? My crew say, sit back. My sister Remy Ma, she says, you cannot invite people to the Frank, to the Frank stand without violence. That is a fact. In the middle of the whole shit of Steve Lobel, the coolest white boy you ever seen. He's in the middle. He's trying to stop the shit. This, this, that. It quiets down. Triller goes and throws some boxing shit. Because they don't want to show all of, they, they, and usually, Usually, when they start fighting on stage, the crowd 
starts fighting. Not the case. No, no, no. I got to give you the Matumbo. The crowd was calm. I actually heard people in the crowd say, don't fight. Don't, they wanted to see this shit. It's the versus LA. These are the protégés of Easy e Little Easy e was there. And so I'm not going to lie. They get back in unity. Let's perform. Juicy J kind of still wanted to smoke. Please. Do the verses. Juicy J had some fly shit. He had the turntables right on stage. You know, him and Paul, they used to be DJs. That's how they formed 3-6 Mafia. He had the turntables right on stage. Some fly shit. And so they go back at it. I'm not going to lie. Bone lost a little steam. Right after that fight, when they came back on, they were supposed to throw some boom, 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 boom. Tell me what you... They were supposed to throw some, it's the first in the mall, get up, get. Like, and so they went, I know it's 20 songs, so you got to pace this shit out. But Bone for like two, three songs, I think maybe because the crowd was so pissed at Busy and thought like Busy wasn't coming back, they lost that little momentum right there. Just before that fight, it was go blow for blow. I'm looking at it like, oh shit, this is a tie, one million percent. Then, three six mafia start flexing. They bringing out little flip. They bringing out eight ball MJG. Out comes the stripper. Out comes. The stripper! Juicy J look fly as fuck, bro. He had that red suit on. That boy Juicy J has fooled the people worse than Fat Joe. Because like I told you, 3-6 Mafia, Bone, and Fat Joe was signed to the same company. Shout out Tony Draper, A-Ball, MJG, the whole crew. You can't tell me nothing about this shit. I done did this shit. Every fucking hood you could think. Juicy J has fooled the youth. They think the guy's 25. He better than Fat Joe. Busy Bone steps back out. Now, the Bone fans are getting hyped again. They bring out Little Flip. They said we got Houston too. They bring out... But is in them rotten dirty? When is in them rotten dirty? When is he me rotten dirty? When is it? Chameleon there comes out. And so they going blow for blow, toe for toe. The fucking place is crazy. Juicy J. Bands that make them dance. Bands that make them dance. All these bitches popping pussy. I'm just popping bands. He's throwing money in the crowd. Money in the crowd, the strip is twerking. Out comes Little Wayne. Let me see, out here we have guests. I hear. This shit, the biggest April, what's up? This shit, the big, yo, Paul, what's up? What's up, nigga? Yo, yo, Paul, yo, Paul, listen, man. Can you hear me? Oh, uh, like the sound kind of like weird. Like, let me grab my headphones. Yo, Paul. Yo, what's happening, brother? I don't hear you, brother. I can't hear you, too. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, let me grab my headphones. Let me grab my headphones. I can't hear you, Paul. I can hear you too. There yo. you go. I hear you now, yo, Paul. Joe. They don't know Joe, 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 Joe. They don't know who Joe, the fuck Joe, I Joe. know. Joe, you telling how it is, bro. You telling how it is. 
<laughs> like you telling how it is. Like you was there, nigga. Like, bro. First of all, I'm gonna say this like this. I'm gonna start it off like this. Like, we get into the interview shit and all that shit. But, bro, I'm a big fan. I was so happy to see you tonight. You know, we go way back from the loud days and uh, all that shit. And um, I'm a big fan of you, bro. I love you to death. And uh, it was so good to see you. Now, let's get into the subject. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Paul, they don't know I know you. I know you guys from day one. But let me tell you something. Yo, Paul, let me ask you something, man. And this, I mean, no disrespect, Paul. We know you got one hand. You got one arm. Yeah. The other one is, you know, what, whatever the proper the way to say it. How the fuck you the first motherfucker over the line hooking the fuck off? Like, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. Yo, what the fuck? Bro, yo, Paul, you, man. You, you, know what it, you know what it is, Joe. Like, say, so for, for, like, niggas will tell you from my high school days, like, the, 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 the rabbit, uh, always, uh, beat the turtle. If, uh, you know, you know, the saying, like, the saying is, like, <laughs> the turtle, uh, always the turtle beat, the rabbit. Uh, beat the rabbit eventually. You know what I'm saying? So what it is, is when God take one thing from you, he give you another thing. So, bro, like, niggas know me from my high school. Like, I've known I've known to punch out niggas in one punch. Like, that's what it is. Oh, no, we like, saw it. We saw it. We nigga, saw it, One bro. punch, I'm going to knock a nigga ass out. That's what it is. But I, I'm not even trying to get into no fight, no. Like, I ain't trying to be in no fight with no niggas right now. Like, I just want everybody just to be, uh... You know, at the end of the day, bro, it's just about um we we all love each other, man. This is about the music, man. It's about the music, yes. man. It ain't yeah. about no fighting us and that. Like we're busy tonight, man. I love that nigga, man. I love him. I love him to death. You we know, all love, love each love other. That's death. why I was it, there. It, would, it would it would never get to, I cannot never see myself like putting my hands on them niggas and this and that. It would never happen because I love Crazy Bone to Death. I love all of Bone to Death. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fan. You know what I'm saying? I posted that. I'm a fan. And I would never do that. Like, that's what we got to get away from, bro. We can't let, we can't keep hip hop thinking that we enemies against each other because we're not. Because at the end of the day, Joe, you know who won? The fans won, bro. The, the fans, fans won. won. Hip hop won. And let me tell you something. You went up against a group that sold 50 million albums. Yeah, I but mean, we sold way more than that. We sold way more than that. <laughs> Look at this wall, bro. Look at this wall. <laughs> Look at this, nigga. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. See this. Yeah, I know I see it, man. I see it. Yo, listen, man. Listen, yo, Paul. Yo, Paul. It was yo. amazing to see Gangsta Bull, Crunchy Black. <laughs> I mean, them boys was acting a fool on that stage, man, but it felt so good to see y'all rock. And you brought my boy 8-Ball and MJG out. Yes. Bro, I grew up on A-Ball and MJG. I'm going to tell you a funny story right right, right quick. Bro, what, my daddy owned a pest control company on Lamar Avenue in Memphis. And uh, rest in peace, my dad. And A-Ball and MJG studio was right down the street from that. And um, I used to go down to their studio and just hang out. And they would let me sit in there and watch MJG make beats and this and that and like 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 chilling. And I was like, fuck man. I was like, damn, I wanna be here one day. I was whack as fuck. I didn't have no beats. Like my shit was dumb as fuck. And I was like, damn, I wanna be like them one day, man. And there you go, stay fly. Man, let me tell you something, brother. You are living legends. Last night you proved it, man. Everything from uh, 
What the shit? I wanna stay fly. Ah 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 till I die. Ah 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 ah. Man, that you had the chicken. Hey, yo, you bring Project Pat out. Yep. Project Pat, that nigga, man. Project Pat, that nigga, man. No, he that nigga, and he's still solid. You know, I, yeah. ever, ever since I know Project Pat, he like a fucking building. You can't move this guy. Like, yeah. he's the same way. Yeah. Project Pat, man, like, bro, niggas already know, if you follow Project Pat, like, bro, half of his albums, he was in prison when we was promoting them. He was in prison doing four or five years while me and Juicy was out on the streets promoting those albums. Project Pat, like, like really with the shit. Everybody know that. If you follow Project Pat, niggas know that he was in prison <laughs> most of the time when we was promoting those albums, man. He really with the shit, nigga. Nah, he with the shit, man. Oh, Gangsta Boo was important to see, huh? You know, Juicy J... The man out here looking like he's 25 years old, man. It looked like he, like, you know, this guy still look 20 years old. Uh, Little Wayne, y'all brought him out. I didn't, I never thought nobody on earth could bring Little Wayne to a versus. Bro, exactly. Like, Little Wayne, like, man, I'm so happy that Little Wayne came out. Like, we hit Little Wayne up, and I was like, Bro, if Lil Wayne come out, that's gonna be fucking crazy. Even when Lil Wayne came out, I was like a nigga in the I was I was I'm a fan, bro, big time fan. You know, and I know I knew Lil Wayne like back in the day, like back in the day before Lil Wayne was like little Lil Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> we had, he was we, bling bling. Every we, time you see him on that like a bling bling. Every, yeah, you know used to be in our studio. And I'm going I'm to I'm I'm put you on, on a little secret. I think me and Birdman, I, when we used to be in the studio recording the records with uh, Lil Wayne back in, back in like 1996, 3-6 Mafia, Manny Fresh, all the niggas, you know what I'm saying? Our thing was we used to go to um, TGI Fries and we used to get the Cajun chicken pasta. <laughs> that was in Birdman's thing. Birdman put me on that. Birdman put me on the Cajun chicken pasta and fuck, bro. I, I, I've been, been on been fucking up some Cajun, some Cajun chicken pasta forever. Listen <laughs> for life, nigga. Yo, my brother. Listen, I'm gonna get some other guys on too. I love you, Paul. Man, thanks for coming on here, man. You're a living legend. I'm gonna finish out the recap. Stay tuned. I love you, brother. Be I safe. love you, my brother. Stay up. Stay my Man, fear. DJ motherfucking Paul. This shit ain't a fucking game. And you don't know who I know. You don't know who I know. This shit ain't a motherfucking game. Motherfucker want to act up. We got some other guests. So Little Wayne comes out. Bone Thugs turn around and they bring out Little John. The place goes nuts. I don't know what verses you're watching. Because the one I'm watching looks like the motherfucking Battle Royale. Blow for blow. <coughs> Bone Thugs. Do you have any answer for me? Because DJ Paul won't come off the motherfucker. I seen Roxy Diaz on here. Sean King. It's a Royal Rumble. 300 motherfuckers on stage. It don't get no realer than that. Man, what's going on with this, Rich? Do you know how to get, do this? Let me, you see, he's, he's stuck. This is the way you get them off normally, right? Mm -hmm. But of course they want to fuck up our recap. Oh, this shit crazy. 
I know, but this shit is bugging out. This shit is bugging out. somebody else. Okay, you add what? What? What's Busy Bones? Uh, uh, thing. M what? Nah, you gotta. Damn, man. Nah, hold up. 